Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the Anand Academy Need PG platform, a beautiful platform to share knowledge among the rest of the world. And today's topic of choice is nothing but HSP, Hinong Chonlin Purpura basically. Before starting the beautiful class, we always have uh, this uh, what he called, uh, we need to ask whether the, my voice is audible to everyone, yes or no. If my voice is audible to everyone, we will start the beautiful session. Today is a very beautiful session on uh, HSP, Hinong Chonlin Purpura, which is one of the important leading questions on the what he called uh, infectious etiology chapter so yes what do you think Important is my voice on the yes i think my voice is audible i can very well very well hear my voice so i'll just uh, close the other stuff so that we can have a good focus in the class and we can finish it off nicely so yes today's topic of choice is nothing but nothing but what is the topic of choice today's topic of choice is a very beautiful topic nothing but our h h h and sp okay what is that nothing but hion hinong shonlin purpura because everyone is asking the link so i'm just spreading the link also back to back yes let's start i've got the pen and i've got the brains let's share the knowledge with a pen and a pencil is my time working yes yes so my name is Dr. Anand, MD Pediatrics. I've done my SRC from Lady Harding Medical College, Hindura Medical College and other medical colleges also. And uh, that's it. And this is the platform of Unacademy. And in the Unacademy, first of all, I would like to tell everyone, please, Feb 26, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Are you free? Are you free on Feb 26? If yes, then please give NEET PG 2022 All India Mock Test. It is very good. And at the same time, we are having this beautiful notes for NEET PG. 19 subjects, all subject notes based on the classes of top Unacademy academy educators so free with one year of subscription also take it for the first 1000 subscribers it is available next in the unacademy we have something known as what you called plus a subscription where you get all the amazing access to live and recorded classes you can watch me on your laptop on your android on your iphone the educators are really good these all things you'll get in the plus subscription in the iconic subscription what do you get you get the unacademy platform and the prep ladder subscription also all the clinical notes recorded classes rapid revision live testing quizzes everything on the iconic subscription and remember our price is hiking very soon so i I recommend everyone to you know uh, do it as soon as possible the price hike is going very soon so take the plan whenever you guys are comfortable congratulations to the wonderful students of fmg december 2021 everyone has worked so hard and i want you all to be there in this beautiful segment you all to sh should work hard and get the best marks that's it and also we have this beautiful study with me youtube test series you know uh, surgery test series biochemistry test series every single test series is so beautiful so i want you to participate it will be good and uh, if you are a new to the unacademy channel download unacademy app where beautifully we have you know we make polls for various mcqs we can ask any doubt with each other we can uh, talk to each other like chat sessions and all and you never miss the classes because all the lectures are recorded so anyone who is starting from first year mbbs or final year mbbs download an academy and uh, follow the dr anand bhatia's classes there and we have amazing batch for fmg students comprehensive batch which is going amazing you know all the grand test and live test recorded classes pdf notes everything and then everyone who is uh, most awaited this one next 2023 so we have made a batch for that also boost your medical pg prep how if you take a three months plan you get one month complimentary and accordingly like that it's very beautiful i i suggest everyone to take it's very very beautiful and all you have to use is the code because the sessions are you know locked so you can use the code dr anand so there the session will unlock and you get good discount discounts for everything okay that's it so let's start the beautiful session today's topic of choice is nothing but nothing but what hsp what is hsp hsp i'll tell you i also forgot what is hsp no i remember what is hsp but uh, let's talk about it so yes hello osama hello albert hello kirti hello nishi agarwal and hello gunjan singh yes uh <laughs> yeah gunjan says uh, ah, sir i went for walking with my mother as we get motivation from you thank you thank you so much that's so, so kind of you and i'm nothing without your support as i always say and uh, we all are like one family we all are one family my focus is to teach you nicely and your focus should be to help the next younger generation coming next to you okay so that you should know okay beautiful let's start before starting any amazing mind blowing super amazing session we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is nothing but life teaches us life teaches us to make good use of time while time teaches us 
द वैल्यू ऑफ लाइफ सच अ मीनिंगफुल सच अमेजिंग माइंड ब्लोइंग सुपर टूपर हिट कोर्ट विच सेज लाइफ teaches us to make good use of time how can i make good use of my time see i go to gym also i go to guitar classes also weekend i go to dance classes also gym to i am already going and i am going to my hospital duties also i am doing with an academy also and i am enjoying my life also and my birthday is also coming so i am doing everything whatever is required so life teaches us uh, teaches us to make good use of time while time teaches us the value of life so again some people you know have this habit once i finish once i finish my mbbs then i will enjoy life once i finish my mbbs then i will enjoy my life so once you finish your mbbs you are land up in the neat pg and uh, uh, all the pg exams once i get a pg seat then i will enjoy my life once i get a pg seat then i will enjoy my life okay before i was having once i get mbbs no let me finish mbbs then properly i'll enjoy my life so once i get a pg seat then properly i'll enjoy my life once i got the pg seat oh my god being a jr1 jr2 jr3 md is for 3 years right so 3 years oh my god it's so tough let me finish my jr ship i will be enjoying my life like anything so got my i finish my jr ship then sr ship again will come oh my god sr ship i have to learn so much i have to be good i have to be top on my game and this and that, this and that. let me finish my sr ship then i will enjoy my life so when will you enjoy your life are you understanding yes or no the moral of the story is enjoy your life today 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 and today remember that okay study do everything whatever you want to do but at the same time enjoy your life zindagi bhagwan ki ek bahut hi mehangi gift hai please use waste mat karo usko utilize karo padho khoob padho enjoy bhi karo go to gym at least half an hour 30 minutes uh, go for running a brisk walking maybe if you like badminton play badminton are you understanding it will help you i'm not saying just for the sake of saying all india rank 6 she told me that she was used to play badminton 30 minutes a guy who was having rank second aims he was telling that he loves meditation he told me sir all you have to control is your heart rate all you have to do in exam is control your heart rate you question aata ho ya nahi aata ho if you know the question does not know the question you need to control your mind and control your heart rate that okay fine this much this one i don't know maybe next one i'll know okay this also i don't know no problem let me give my best shot i'll try my next in the next question are you understanding you have to control your heart rate if you lose your heart rate you will get panic oh my god it's so tough oh, oh my god 6 months again how will i do it this that and start crying and everything is gone gone in vain are you understanding you need to control your heart rate that's it okay so that's what life teaches us to make good use of time while time teaches us the value of life so aage badhte hain with this beautiful quote with beautiful quote yes exactly and as ganja says always appreciate your barber okay ganja everyone please appreciate your barber as dr ganja has said why he is saying i have no idea but appreciate your barber okay yes let's start this is a very beautiful session let's have a back to back you know good uh, uh, discussion about it if you are a newcomer please make notes if you are a old comer keep talking vasculitis we have various types of vasculitis as everyone know so we have three types of vasculitis vasculitis i think we all know that we have large vessel vasculitis we have medium vessel vasculitis and we have small vessel vasculitis yes or no this we have done multiple times as if you are a newcomer we need to say it again also so can anyone tell me what are the examples of large vessel vasculitis large vessel vasculitis we have already done it what are the examples yes we have done it takayasu arteritis and giant cell arteritis right large vessel large vessel okay revise 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 revision is the key revision is the key remember that okay yes exactly savan singh is right so large vessel vasculitis we have takayasu arteritis and giant cell arteritis which is nothing but known as temporal arteritis savan singh is coming back from abroad to delhi to meet us to be with us and yes it will be great so that's what i'll repeat again mera kaan band ho raha hai woh cheek bhi aa rahi hai to kaam to nahi ho raha ठीक आएगी तो डोंट माइंड ओके सो वी हैव लार्ज वेसल मीडियम वेसल स्मॉल वेसल वैसलाइटिस लार्ज वेसल इज ओवर दैट इज जॉइंट सेल आर्टराइटिस एंड टाका या आर्टराइटिस can anyone tell me what is happens in medium vessel vasculitis yes or no what happens what are the examples of medium vessel vasculitis who will tell me that random, random guesses anyone yes so we have kawasaki disease and polyarthritis nodosa yes you're right so medium vessel vasculitis ladies and gentlemen we have kawasaki disease and polyarthritis nodosa right 
if you know the answers if you want to discuss with me keep messaging keep typing keep typing just imagine it's a oral test it's a oral test before me answering you answer the question aapka revision ho jayega and if you're a newcomer then of course you can make notes also so large vessel medium vessel is kawasaki and polyarteritis nodosa what is the small vessel vasculitis kya jawab denge aap dr thaman singh what is small vessel examples of small vessels involvement vasculitis means inflammation of blood vessel right so small vessel small vessel small vessel small vessel vasculitis anyone kirti pathak uh, savan singh ragivi subramanyam Albert, yes, beautiful. So we have uh, many small vessel vasculitis. We have very good. But the question is PG entrance question number one, which is the most common small vessel vasculitis. क्या जवाब देंगे आप? क्या लिख के आएंगे? क्या आप इसे छोड़ के आएंगे सवाल को? या जल्दी से एक अच्छा सा जवाब जवाब लिख के आएंगे? What is the answer, anyone? Doctor Savan, which is the most common most common vasculitis? Is this the Wagner's? Is this the Church Shaw's? Dr. Ganja has a very beautiful answer. HSP. The topic of choice is HSP only. So small vessel, small vessel vasculitis. The most common is nothing but Hinong Shonlin purpura. HSP is the right answer, and we're gonna study that. Other examples are Wagner's granulomatosis, Church Strauss syndrome, systemic lupus erythematosus. Good Pasteur syndrome and Behcet syndrome. I am not writing these names because we have done this million times. We have done this uh, large vessel, medium vessel, and small vessel examples. So I am just writing it. If you are a newcomer, you can note it down also later, right? So the most common. So in this slide, we have covered the one PG entrance question, which is the most common vasculitis. The answer is HSP is the most common vasculitis among children or in general also. Take okay, it done. मुझे छीक आने को हो रही है लेकिन छीक आ नहीं रही तो क्या करूँ नाक बंद कर लू शुड आई क्लोज माई नोज आई एम फीलिंग छीक की इंग्लिश क्या होती है छीक खांसी सामने छीक की इंग्लिश क्या होती है हिकअप नहीं हिकअप होती है हिचकी खांसी स्कफ ठीक स्नीजिंग स्नीजिंग आई फील लाइक स्नीजिंग ओके या दैट्स वट एंड ऑल्सो नाउ कमिंग टू द ब्यूटिफुल टॉपिक एच एस बी इनोंग शॉनलिन परपुर हाँ जी स्नीजिंग ही होती है मुझे ही पता है मुझे ही पता है स्नीजिंग ही होती है थैंक यू निशी थैंक यू सावन वेरी स्वीट ऑफ यू इंग्लिश क्लासेस नहीं है ये ये पीडियाट्रिक्स क्लासेस है वेरी नाइस सो येस सो हाउ द क्वेश्चन कम That's this is how the question come. Let let's let's just solve one question and let's start talking about it. A six year old child, a six year old child with abdominal pain and red elevated skin rashes. Very beautifully, examiner wants to help you and get you a rank one need PG so that you can get uh, MD radiology in AIMS. Who wants to take MS MS MD radiology? Raise your hand. Okay. So a six year old. She ki aari bata. A six-year-old child with abdominal pain, abdominal pain, red, elevated, elevated skin rashes, mainly involving the lower limbs. What is your probable diagnosis? A straight-away examiner wants to get you with fetch you with the best marks there, and a very beautiful picture showing showing some red. सम एलिवेटेड एलिवेटेड उठे हुए दाने रेड एलिवेटेड रैशेस या एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली इन द लोअर लिम्स दैट्स अ टिपिकल अगेन सी एग्जामिनर वॉन्ट्स टू टेल यू मल्टीपल हिंट्स द हिंट इज इज अ सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड एंड द पेशेंट हैविंग एबडोमिनल पेन दैट्स अ सेकेंड हिंट रेड एलिवेटेड स्किन एलिवेटेड रेड एलिवेटेड स्किन रैश नथिंग बट दे आर लाइक अ परप्यूरा लाइक अ पैलपेबल एलिवेटेड है तो पैलपेबल भी होंगे नेचुरल सी बात है सो पैलपेबल परप्यूरा राइट मेनली इन द लोअर लिम्स टिपिकल in the lower limbs that only and only happens is nothing but our hsp hinong shonlin purpura hinong shonlin purpura which is the most so we're going to study that i just wanted to show you this was a neat pg jan 2019 question that's how the question comes and we're going to study this question in detail like the topic in detail how it comes acha why this answer cannot be a chicken pox varicella infection मैं मेरा मुझे तो लग रहा है कि ये पक्का चिकन पॉक्स है पक्का चिकन पॉक्स वी हैव डन इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज राइट वी हैव डन मीजल्स मम्स रुबेला चिकन पॉक्स एवरीथिंग वी हैव डन राइट सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस इफ यू आर अ न्यू कमर प्लीज वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोस यू विल गेट अ गुड नॉलेज डॉक्टर सावंत सिंह प्लीज Yes, please tell me why it cannot be a chicken varicella. Varicella is nothing but chicken pox, right? मेरे को तो chicken pox लग रहा है नहीं 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 मैं तो chicken pox पे टिक करके आऊँगा बताइए अब why it is not a varicella? Why it is specifically HSP? What happens in chicken pox? If you are the examiner and you want to make a MCQ on chicken pox, imagine okay, be you should think in both ways. Being as a student also, you should think how should I answer. Be if you are an examiner, you should think how will I ask, right? So that's why I I ask my I I ask all the students also to have a oral Test with each other. 
take a friend and ask him 20 questions and tell your friend to take your test also every day every day in the evening tell your friends to take a test of yours and then you take the test of your friend that way you become the examiner then the other person becomes the examiner so two examiners so multiple important questions are reciprocated so why it cannot be a chicken pox because sir chicken pox agar question hota so how the rash will be it will be a maculo papular and 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 vesicular rash very good very good okay vesicular matlab fluid filled mother gives a history doctor isko kuch paan daane ho rahe usme paani paane sa nikal raha hai watery watery discharge is there doctor uh, so that rash will be of chicken pox rash here the patient is not having any vesicular watery or something kind of a rash are you understanding the patient is having some red elevated elevated lesion so but in mainly in the lower limbs do you see chicken pox only in the lower limbs no chicken pox is everywhere right and it's more you can say kind of centripetal also pet ki taraf aur har jagah ki taraf center ki taraf zyada hote hain so that's what this is not a chicken pox this is not a chicken pox rash right that's what so the best answer for this one will be a hsp are you understanding let's start off with the topic hsp so yes to know this see this this uh, our examiner is uh, say the patient was having red elevated skin rashes ab ye elevated skin rashes is it a petechiae ecchymosis or purpura now to know this topic we need to understand these three important words what is petechiae what is ecchymosis and what is a purpura can anyone tell me in the ascending order sabse chhota kaun sa hota hai fir usse bada kaun sa hota hai aur usse bada kaun sa hota hai let's see if you can answer if you're revising this topic with me i think you should answer first is it like ecchymosis then purpura then petechiae or petechiae ecchymosis purpura or purpura ecchymosis and petechiae what do you think anyone 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 yes okay yeah savan says ke patient kehte hain doctor isko mata nikal gayi ha that's very true mata nikal gayi yahi bolte hain mata aagi isko mata aagi main bachpan mein sochta tha mata aagi kaise aagi mata so that's what isne isne ek joke aata hai isse wo is wo have you seen sara bhai versus sara bhai white right usme na kya hota hai ki this monisha and maya is there like two people are there so uh, they get a servant at home they get a servant at home which is she is very very dark the ser servant is very 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 dark and uh, her name is apsara she is very dark and her name is apsara so the so the so the um, uh, one lady says to the other that ye apsara hai to phir uh, monisha bolti hai because the other monisha dekhti hai aur kehti hai to bahut dark hai to maya kehti hai monisha ko ke servant hoti hai use maya, maya kehti hai monisha ko ye apsara hai phir monisha kehti hai aapko sach mein yakeen hai ki yahi apsara hai then phir maya kehti hai beta iska naam apsara hai so much bad joke like she is very dark the, the servant is very dark and ye apsara hai phir monisha kehti hai aapko sach mein yakeen hai ki yahi apsara hai kehti beta iska naam apsara hai so it's a joke theek hai ha exactly very good so the best answer is number 1 is petechiae first you will see is the petechiae then we have this purpura and sabse bada will be ecchymosis ecchymosis remember पेटी के कैसे होते हैं सर दे आर स्मॉल दे आर स्मॉल वन टू टू एम एम दे आर स्मॉल वन टू टू एम एम ब्लड फिल्ड मैक्यूलो पैपुलर लीजन विच डू नॉट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर अगेन फॉर एवरी वन आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू क्राइम ओके डोंट क्राइम द लाइन दे आर स्मॉल वन टू टू मिलीमीटर नहीं कोई जरूरत नहीं है कुछ इतना रटने की जरूरत नहीं है सिंपल सिंपल यू शुड नो दिस टाइनी दिस टाइनी माइक्रो वैस्कुलर हेमरेजेस दिस टाइनी माइक्रो वैस्कुलर हेमरेजेस आर नथिंग बट पेटी के सबसे छोटे पेटिके होते हैं दैट यू शुड नो स्मॉलेस्ट वन विल बी द पेटिके ओके टाइनी माइक्रोवैस्कुलर हेमरेजेस ओके व्हिच डू नॉट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर ठीक है मतलब ब्लैंच ऑफ प्रेशर एज इन अगर मैं दबाऊंगा तो तो वो डिसअपियर हो जाएगा दैट इज नोन एज ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर बट दिस पेटिके डज नॉट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर दिस पेटिके डज नॉट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन हियर मुझे मच्छर ने काटा है ठीक है आई हैव गॉट अ मॉस्किटो ओके मुझे मच्छर, उस मच्छर का नाम था सावन ओके okay? मुझे एक मच्छर ने काटा करके सो so अगर मुझे मच्छर ने काटा इफ आई गॉट अ मॉस्किटो बाइट विल इट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर मच्छर आई गया देखो बड़ी लंबी उम्र है मच्छर की वहां घूम रहा है ओके इफ आई गॉट अ मॉस्किटो बाइट विल इट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर और इट विल नॉट ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर वॉट यू थिंक लेडीज जेंटलमैन वॉट विल यू आंसर डॉक्टर सावन रिड्स प्रिया एंड एल ए निशा एल्बर्ट सो मेरी पुलर देर अगर मुझे मच्छर ने काटा 
तो इविलिट ब्लैंच ब्लैंच मतलब डिसअपियरेंस ओके सो इफ आई लाइक दिस इज द यहाँ मुझे मच्छर ने काटा इफ आई प्रेस इट एंड इट विल डू लाइक दैट प्रेस इट एंड डू लाइक दैट विल इट डिसअपियर ऑन प्रेशर येस और नो सो येस दस एग्जैक्टली या सो दैट्स वट नॉर्मली डॉगी काटते हैं बट सावन वॉज एग्जाम्पल सावन नो अफेंस जस्ट आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग एज एन एग्जाम्पल ओके डोंट माइंड एग्जैक्टली सो येस इट विल ब्लैंच ऑन प्रेशर वेरी गुड वेरी राइट दिस वॉज द आंसर आज टू मी बाय द एक्सटर्नल एग्जाम I had a case of HSP in my final year MBBS as a short case there, and there he asked me. Then I, I pulled a rut. Ke gaya tha. Main achhe se padh ke gaya tha. Examiner. Hmm. You have read it. Okay. Okay. Tell me, doctors. Doctor Saab. What's your name? Anand. Okay. Doctor Anand. If you get a mosquito bite, will it blanch on pressure? Yes or no? Bas. He is the wall tha. Or main wahi ka wahi raha gaya. Will it blanch? Kabi socha hi nahi. Maine machhar ne kaata tha. Will it blanch? So the answer is yes. The mosquito will mosquito bite will blanch on pressure. So these tiny tiny muscular uh, uh, hemorrhages are petechiae. Then purpura. Purpura is the bigger one. Point three to one centimeter macula papular rash. Macula means change in the color, right? Macula is change in color, and what is a papula? Change in the color plus elevation. Elevation. Uthav hoga usme. Kya in dano me uthav hai? Hanji doctor says there is an elevation also. So purpura basically is nothing but macula papular rash formed due to any subdermal bleed which do not blanch on pressure. Mostly all these conditions do not blanch on pressure. Remember that, okay? So that's what. so purpura is 0.3 to 1 cm the bigger one and the biggest one ladies and gentlemen acha dekho ye to dekh raha hai have you seen any can you see that tiny microvascular hemorrhages are petty case seen in dengue fever and positive tourniquet test yes or no and purpura purpura is the bigger one mere isme se chhup to nahi raha mere chehre se ye dekh raha hai yahan dekh pata nahi kidhar mundna hai mere ko ha idhar theek hai purpura done very good next and ekymosis ekymosis is the bigger one more than 1 cm subdermal bleed that is the ekymosis so that finishes petty case. परप्यूरा देन ईकाइमोसिस द बिग वन बिग वन ठीक है जब आंख में पंच कोई मारता है तो इतना बड़ा ईकाइमोटिक पैच हो जाता है वो पैच ठीक है आई होप यू आर एबल टू गेट इट रिमेंबर फोटोग्राफिंग मेमोरी फुल लुक एट द फोटो एंड टेल द डायग्नोसिस सो दिस वन इज द पेटिके दिस वन इज द परप्यूरा एंड दिस वन इज द ईकाइमोसिस ईकाइमोसिस राइट वेरी गुड ये वाला इतना बड़ा धब्बा ठीक है ईकाइमोसिस ठीक है नाउ द एच एस पी द ब्यूटिफुल टॉपिक ऑफ हिनॉन शॉल इन परप्यूरा इज डिवाइडेड इन टू डेफिनेशन एपिडेमियोलॉजी pathogenesis clinical features criteria diagnosis treatment and prognosis this hsp divided into these beautiful formats definition epidemiology pathogenesis clinical feature criteria diagnosis treatment and nothing but prognosis theek hai very good acha aur kya kehte hain ha so let's start the definition how does it how hsp or exam mein aa gaya what should i write so yes definition hinong shonlin purpura hinong shonlin purpura what happened there is a leukocytic leukocytoclastic vasculitis i will tell you the meaning of every single word okay nothing to cram leukocytoclastic kya hota hai main bataunga vasculitis kya hota hai main bataunga sab kuch main bataunga okay try to have just a normal conversation okay and try to participate in the hsp hinong shonlin purpura there is a leukocytoclastic vasculitis vasculitis means inflammation of blood vessel of course uh, there is a leukocytoclastic vasculitis and very importantly jo most important part hai there is iga deposition there is iga deposition where can anyone tell me where all the iga deposition is there there is iga deposition in my skin and that only will lead to palpable purpura yes or no where else wherever the iga deposition is there i will have manifestations there is I, iga deposition in my joints that lead to arthritis very important very important there is a iga deposition in my gi tract there is a iga deposition in my gi tract so i will get a bowel angina kind of a pain abdomen you can say that bowel angina patient so that's how the patient will come some some palpable purpura some red elevated rashes patient got arthritis patient got pain abdomen pain abdomen and patient passing blood in urine Patient passing blood in urine. Why blood in urine? You are telling, sir, because there is a IgA deposition in my kidneys. In my kidneys. Are you understanding? That that's what. Very good. Very good. So you all are answering so well. Rids, Nisha, Kirti, and Savan, L A, Kirti, Patak. Very good. The people who are answering like uh, top class. Top class. You guys are top class. Okay. Very good. 
that's what so i'll repeat again uh, what you called uh, so in the hinong shonlin purpura there is leukocytoclastic vasculitis and iga deposition and we have a tetrad we always have a tetrad not triad tetrad of hsp number one palpable purpura number two arthritis number three bowel angina or pain abdomen and number four is macroscopic or microscopic hematuria please remember not just microscopic not just macroscopic the patient can have micro or microscopic hematuria so wherever the IJ deposition is there I will have the problem number one number two so this part we have done yes so what is the meaning of leukocytoclastic please remember bro like look at the picture and tell the diagnosis these are palpable purpuras okay please I want you to have the best of the best clinical knowledge and how it will come by seeing the patients by seeing the pictures by seeing the videos by seeing the clinical analysis so what is this is this a is this a petty cake or is this a echimosis? Anyone? What is this? Is is a petiche? Is this a echimosis or is this a purpura? Anyone? Yes or no? So exactly, this cannot be a petiche because petiche are very tiny, tiny, very cute, 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 tiny microvascular hemorrhages. Echimosis is more than one centimeter, big bleeds, basically like an eye punch, echimotic patch. Purpura. Purpura sounds a subtle answer, 0.2 to 1 centimeter kind of a purpura. So much leukocyte leukocytoclastic. Leukocytoclastic means debris of neutrophils in the blood vessel. Please put a star mark there. You need to know why sir hota ye kyo ho hai? Malab, why it is happening so much of rashes on this and that, sir. IGA deposition, I got it, but what else? There is debris of neutrophils in the blood vessels. Wherever the debris of neutrophils is there, like that is known as leukocytoclastic leukocytoclastic okay leuco means tlc like leukocytes like leukocytes and total leukocyte count right leukocytes only you know you have neutrophils lymphocytes eosinophils polymorphs like polymorph are neutrophils only and blast cells and all that so debris of neutrophils are there that is known as uh, leukocytoclastic then yes typical this was the exam question palpable purpura only and only and only in the on the lower limbs on the lower limbs lower limbs that you should know and also at the same time joints yes arthritis very good now i have a question let's discuss about it what are the various types of arthritis do you know like uh, you tell i will not answer yes 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 Pus in the blood vessel, so, yeah, Deepti, you can say plus pus, you can put pus will be a pus, okay, will be a discharge. This palpable purpura will not have any discharge. Pus ka shabd, pustule or pus, there should be some discharge, right? But there is no discharge. It is just a elevated lesions which are self-resolving later. Elevated uthav hai, rubbery, rubbery, elevated lesions are there. They are not having pus, remember. Okay, what are the various of type, type of arthritis? We should know. Okay, Nishi says rheumatoid arthritis. No, uh, like I'm asking, have you heard of monoarthritis? Have you heard of oligoarthritis and have you, have you heard of polyarthritis? Yes or no? Exactly. So what is monoarthritis with one example? What is oligoarthritis and what is polyarthritis? Who will tell me that? Anyone? Deepti? What do you think? LA is answering so nice like reactive arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. So monoarthritis means only one joint involvement, right? Yes or no? Mono means one joint involvement and oligo means less than equal to four and poly means more than four yes or no now can you tell me very important so more than two is oligo Achaji, less than equal to four is oligo and more than four is poly okay can anyone tell me let's discuss about it. it's an oral test today is the your final year mbbs exam and i'm asking you a question okay fine you will answer but <laughs> he has read and come. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Anji, monoarthritis. What is monoarthritis? Sir, sir, uh, one joint involvement is monoarthritis, sir. Example, tell me the example. Anyone? What is the example? What is the example of monoarthritis? Anyone? Any, do we know any disease where one joint is involved? Anyone? What do you think? I'll give you two very good examples. Anyone? Savan, bro, what do you think? Examples of monoarthritis? Have you heard of fracture? If you get a fracture of knee joint, will you get kind of arthritis or kind of a swelling? Yes. Have you heard of what you call septic arthritis? Yes or no? Definitely you can get a mono, uh, single joint involvement. Have you heard of tubercular arthritis? So tubercular arthritis also you can get a single joint involvement. Yeah, gout also you can say that. Are you understanding? So it's a beautiful examples of fracture, septic arthritis, tubercular arthritis, and you know, that's what gout. So these all have single joint, single joint involvement, right? Polyarthritis, anyone? Poly, polyarthritis, more than four joints are involved. Poly, this is a very important uh, example. Hota hai. Who will tell me? Who will tell me? Uh, anyone? Yes. So, have you heard of? I think everyone knows about it. Rheumatic fever. In the 
in a case of rheumatic fever the patient will have what kind of arthritis it will be a migratory bleeding type of arthritis okay, sir i got a swelling in this joint after few days i got a swelling in this joint with no res residual deformity in the previous joint if you don't know this if you're a newcomer we have done the cardiology section in detail and we have done acute rheumatic fever we have done rheumatoid arthritis very much nicely in detail watch the session you will like it okay yes exactly very good so we have various types of arthritis we have monoarthritis oligoarthritis polyarthritis mono and uh, that's what and uh, what type of arthritis do we see in case of this one the topic of hsp what type of arthritis you will see in hsp will you see mono will you see oligo or will you see poly what do you think dr savan nisha Ali, the more you participate the more chances you have you get a very good rank in exam do you want to get a rank answer then mujhe to aata hai haan ji pan sometimes but less little less likely okay kirti pathak savan what type of arthritis you have in hsp monoarthritis oligoarthritis or polyarthritis what do you think okay ma'am says deepthi says oligoarthritis yes very beautifully told oligoarthritis star mark all real neat pg question what kind of arthritis you see in rheumatic fever the answer is polyarthritis what type of arthritis you see in hsp the answer is less than equal to four joints involvement and how many percent cases you will see arthritis or arthralgia in hsp the answer is 75 percent of cases if i am there in 75 percent of cases you will see arthritis yes or no i hope i'm making sense these are very important questions okay so make notes of that very good next point yes very good so pg entrance question number five pg entrance question number five so can we appreciate now hsp okay hsp kya kya so imagine you are sitting inside the topic you are sitting inside the topic okay hsp what is there iga deposition iga deposition in my skin iga deposition in my arthritis in my joints and iga deposition in my gi tract right in my kidney also everywhere iga deposition i am the king of iga so i'll do this and that gi tract how many percentage of patients have gi symptoms that's another very important need pg question anyone the options are 20 percent like 20 percent cases will have gi symptoms 50 percent cases 70 percent cases or 100 percent cases option number a b c and d क्या लिख के आएंगे आप सोचो मैं पढ़ाना भूल गया मैं भूल गया पढ़ाना मैंने पढ़ाया नहीं वाला क्या लिख के आएंगे हाउ मेनी यस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली यस yeah mostly seven is right mostly we have knee joint involved yes bro that's right and yeah that's what and uh, what else so how many percentage of patients have gi symptom that's an exam question because once we finish the theory topic we'll do the mcqs and that will finish the whole topic as a whole so the best answer is yes the best answer is roughly around 80 percent of patients yes so gi symptoms are there in 80 percent of patients yeah percentage important hey guys we need to understand that remember the what you call the arthritis will have an in seven will will uh, 75 percent of cases will have arthritis and 80 percent roughly 80 percent of patients will have gi symptoms so 70 think imagine imagine 75 percent arthritis okay and then upper kya upper pet pe aajo niche 75 above we have 80 75 percent arthritis and 80 uh, gi symptoms the, the patient will have next and of course the patient can have abdominal pain the patient can have diarrhea the patient can have melina what is melina question number one what is melina and question number two is it a upper gi bleed or, or, or a lower gi bleed who will tell me that what is the uh, what do you call demarcation point of upper gi and lower gi bleed all three back to back need pg questions who will answer what do you think Aapko aata hai? आता है तो बताइए नहीं आता तो अभी आ, मैं बताता हूं आपको यस सो यस वेरी गुड हु विल टेल मी व्हाट यू कॉल्ड दिस मेलिना मेलिना एग्जैक्टली ओके सो डॉक्टर प्रिया सेस डॉक्टर प्रिया सेस डॉक्टर प्रिया सेस मेलिना इज अ अपर जीआई ब्लीड इज दिस लाइन ट्रू और इज दिस लाइन फॉल्स व्हाट डू यू थिंक एग्जैक्टली पॉइंट नंबर 1 मेलिना इज ब्लैक कलर स्टूल ब्लैक टेरी stool is nothing but melina and melina yes of course melina that's true it's a upper gi bleed it is a upper gi bleed for example i've got a esophageal varices and i got a like if i got a portal hypertension bleeding i got a esophageal varices bleeding so that bleeding basically takes around six to eight hours to pass my intestine and go then to my blood then to my stool leading to black color stool so melina is a black terry stool is a upper gi bleed and what is the demarcation 
question so dashu says false that's what dear uh, melina is a per jibli dear and hematochezia hematochezia what is hematochezia hematochezia is a fresh blood fresh blood fresh blood while passing stool and fresh blood stool is nothing but lower gastro intestinal tract bleed lower gi bleed lower gi bleed okay upper gi bleed and lower gi bleed upper gi bleed the example is melina black color stool and if i am passing fresh blood while stool if example i got hemorrhoids mujhe bawasir ki bimari hai oh it's so painful so hemorrhoids fissure in ano and all those things fresh blood while passing stool known as hematochezia and what is the demarcation of point what is the demarcation point savan bro what is kirti what is the demarcation point of upper gi bleed and lower gi bleed the answer is mai batunga exactly kirti is right ligament of treats ligament of T R E I Z T Z ligament of treats. Okay, very good, very good. You are answering ligament of treats, which is present at the duodeno jejunal flexure. We have first part, second part, third part, and fourth part of duodenum followed by the jejunum. So duodeno jejunal flexure. We have ligament of treats. Next question. That's what. So so can we? Okay, let's revise, bro. How, uh, so tell me uh, joints how many percent of cases uh, will have a uh, joint involvement in hsp the answer is 75 percent of cases how many percent will have gi involvement the pro the answer is 80 percent of cases and how many percent of patient will have a renal involvement now who will answer that batao aap batao what do you think guys let's finish this topic in a very beautiful way jaldi bataiye jaldi bataiye jaldi jaldi bataiye please yes how many percent of patients are involved in the kidney ones anyone anyone 100% 80% 50% 20% what do you think kya likh ke aayenge aap aapke hisab se kya lagta hai answer deepthi says 90% 90% hmm acha so the best answer is again 50% thoda kam please remember the 50% of patients will have micro, like hematuria you know nep, uh, mac, microscopic macroscopic nep, like all kind of hematuria protein urea hematuria all hematuria will have kidney is 50% cases kidney will be involved but remember 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 how many percent of patient will go to renal failure the answer is only 2% this is an exam question this is an exam question and this is an exam question without fail i am blick ke de raha hu abhi mcq karenge aaya hua hai uske andar please remember that okay let's revise 75 then 80 then 50 and then 2 remember that how many percent of cases will have joint involvement the answer is 75% then coming up 80% will have abdominal uh, like gi involvement then coming to our kidney 50% will have kidney involvement but only 2% only 2% will go to renal failure or kidney injury right yes or no yaad rakhna hai yes dr priya sadly this is important because once we finish this theory theory topic dear we will go to the mcqs on all india pg aims nimhans jipmer they have asked this question only so sadly we have to remember this because they have asked that's how it is okay that you should know and okay what is the criteria we follow in the aki does anyone know the criteria name savan bata de beta idhar aaja idhar delhi aa rahe delhi do din mein delhi aa rahe ho pehle answer batao agar ye answer batayega main to hi milunga warna i will block your number haan ji bataiye sir so acute kidney injury mein ek naam hota hai criteria ka very important exam question what is the name of the criteria of acute kidney injury we have aki and cki acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease ckd what is the name of the criteria of acute kidney injury anyone we have to start renal system next week who will tell me the answer dr priya nisha basharth ikbal la kirti pathak deepthi dashu and million other people haan ji batao what is the answer what is the sky yeah sky what your sky samundar aasman sky is pink kaun se wala sky try 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 nisha nisha could you try some anyone can try the answer so the criteria name for acute kidney injury is nothing but p rifle criteria it's a medicine question remember guys pediatrics is just medicine is parallel to medicine okay it's like more difficult than medicine medicine mein you learn but here to you have to learn bilkul to the mi micronutrient point so p right kya kidgo guidelines hoti hain yes kidgo kidgo guidelines says that's what p rifle criteria p rifle criteria what is this rifle criteria have you heard the rifle criteria what is this p rifle criteria main kahin likh deta hu kahan likho yahan likh deta hu so p rifle risk injury failure loss and end stage disease r for risk 
injury failure loss and end stage disease it's a very important five marks five marks mbbs question um p means pediatric p is pediatric p rifle criteria acute kidney injury classification will have a rifle criteria in medicine but a p rifle criteria in pediatrics p is pediatric risk injury failure loss and end stage disease and then some aage bhi hai creatinine clearance and uh, and all that but just you should know the name of the criteria is p rifle criteria that you should know for the acute kidney injury for the acute kidney injury aki regimen we do that okay uh, rifle risk injury failure loss and end stage disease okay okay so that that finishes the next question so that's what so this whole part is over and cns also the patient will have some as i told you iga deposition everywhere i am the king of iga ig in the brains what will you get seizures hemorrhages and all that is very easy kuch ratna nahi hai don't cram please don't cram just you should know okay yes we have again a motivating quote a motivating quote says the greatest challenge the greatest challenge in life is discovering who you are and the second greatest is being happy with what you find can you appreciate someone bro samajh mein aa raha hai la uh, doctor of oreo samajh mein aa raha hai the greatest challenge the greatest challenge in life is discovering who you are first of all discover who you are are you a happy soul are you a frustrated soul are you a irritating soul are you a sad soul are you a energetic soul like me how are you so the greatest challenge in life is discovering who you are and accepting who you are no one is perfect i am not perfect are you perfect no one is perfect we are, a human is full of flaws but falling in love with those flaws falling in love with who you are that makes you a special person it's nice to say that i want to be like tom cruise i want to be like her i want to be like him i want to have a car and this and that okay having dreams is beautiful but the greatest challenge in life is discovering who you are and the second greatest is being happy with what you find if i have this much of money or this much of uh, uh, you know uh, equipments with me let's i want to work hard but let's be happy also with that are you understanding there is a difference between working hard and being happy with ha being happy also with what you have like it's good to have dreams it's good to have a courage like i also want to get, get this that and this and that but am i happy yes am i a peaceful soul yes am i content somewhere yes i am content i want to have this and that i will work hard for that but that does that doesn't mean that am i a frustrated soul no am i irritating no am i a fussy soul no 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 i want this i will not be happy i want that also she she is also having i also want to have that am i that not at all i am a very perfectly happy soul but i want a dream also are you understanding so this, this makes sense okay bro this makes sense okay the greatest so the, the moral of the story is the greatest challenge in life is discovering who you are and the second greatest is being happy with what you find okay then continue what is which is the commonest age group very beautiful question i will be asking you million more question 10 more minutes and this topic is over let's cover this topic in a topic in a very good vibes way very good vibes i want which is the most commonest age group is covered in the hsp anyone can a 25 year old patient can have hsp 50 year old patient having palpable purpura in the lower limbs is it possible or is it not possible what do you think any random guesses what do you think what do you think yes exactly very good so the commonest age group remember we have a mnemonic 3 to 10 very 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 important topic star mark pg question 3 to 10 matlab sir what are you telling sir what is 3 to 10 the rash the ra that palpable purpura that rash stays for 3 to 10 days and the most commonest age group in uh, hinong shonlin purpura is nothing but 3, 3 to 10 years 90% cases you will have the age roughly 3 to 10 years can anyone tell me about kawasaki we have to link and study right yesterday we had a class on kawasaki and today we have a class on hsp so kawasaki also can you tell me what is the commonest age group of kawasaki can saavn get kawasaki can pancake get kawasaki disease osama tumhe ho sakta hai kawasaki disease you are 23 25 30 40 50 years old kawasaki kis mein hota hai again kawasaki also is roughly less than 5 years 80 to 90% percent cases like maximum percentage of kawasaki happens in children chote bachcho mein 3 years 4 years 5 years like that okay and that's what exactly priya is also very right so it is correlate okay correlate correlate please correlate and study kawasaki is in children roughly around 5 years and hsp also is in children roughly around 5 years or so 3 to 10 you can say the the mnemonic is 3 to 10 the rash stays for 3 to 10 days and the commonest age group also is 3 to 10 days so mnemonic 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 and over next okay let's see it is it is common in what is it common in kirti 
or is it common in osama what do you think anyone anyone say it's a oral test okay i'm not dictating you and gonna write everything what do you think you tell first maybe you are right and if you are right you will remember more right so that's what tell me fast so yes is it common in uh, osama or is it common in this one hriday yes bro yes exactly it's common in males are common than the females males are common than the females that you should know what is the criteria now this is a five marks question for mbbs student what is the criteria we use in hsp remember like what all, what all rough information you we got some iga deposition some leukocytoclastic vasculitis ig in my joints ig in my skin ig in my bowel and ig in my kidney ig deposition in my brain yes or no yahi samajh mein aaya na ab tak to so what is the criteria we follow so the american college of rheumatology the american college of rheumatology this is the exam question five it's a five marks question what is the criteria for hsp so the american college of rheumatology says two of the following the american college of rheumatology says two of the following kya sir kaun se wala two of the following number 1 palpable purpura like how do you diagnose kawasaki like great criteria right two of the following number two number one palpable purpura number two age less than 20 years of course two to ten is what the commonest 90 percent cases will have two to ten two years to ten years of age group and uh, but age less than 20 of course i told you bowel angina bowel angina matlab post prandial what is post prandial khana khane ke baad after food samajh ke padhna please everyone get a concept okay don't cram topic think agar ratna padha rato mat don't cram have a concept make a concept make a hypothetical concept but get it to your brains in a very simple way not stressful way petty case 1 to 2 millimeter are you may not 4 millimeter 2 millimeter itna kuch karne ki zarurat nahi hai maine kabhi aise yaad nahi kiya tiny tiny microvascular hemorrhages are petty case and that's enough okay so that's what uh, so bowel angina so i'll repeat again what is the criteria for H hsp yes uh, american college of rheumatology says two of the following number one palpable purpura number two age less than 20 years number three bowel angina bowel angina bowel angina matlab that's what pet mein dard bowel means bowel bowel pet so post prandial khana khane ke baad the patient will have a severe like very bad abdominal pain with bloody diarrhea are you understanding because my iga deposition is in there in my kidney causing bloody diarrhea and uh, uh, there is a iga deposition in my bowel again uh, doing to abdominal pain and also the biopsy the biopsy is showing intramural granulocytes in the arteries of the veins intramural granulocytes that also you need to know so among these four points two of the following two any two of the following so kya please can we revise here only learn ghar ja ke dobara nahi padhna baith ke yahi padho finish karo revise karo khatam karo so i'll repeat again palpable purpura taan chad gaye ha so palpable purpura age less than 20 years bowel angina and biopsy showing intramural granulocytes in the arterial veins that's how you diagnose the kawasaki according to criteria basically no not diagnose it's a criteria 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 digital diagnose shop is different so next question is yeah this we know palpable purpura in the lower limbs yeah very good this is a good question if this comes the neat pg question maan lijiye aap log next de rahe hain saavan to de bhi raha hai next many of the students are, are mbbs also who are joining our classes so how do you diagnose haan ji rakh sahab bataiye how do you diagnose kawasaki pad ke aaye aap pad ke aaye okay very good haan ji how do you diagnose which investigation what uh, kft kidney function test you are biopsy skin biopsy you want to do how do you diagnose kawasaki a 5 year old patient comes to you with the palpable purpura sab sab kuch ho gaya maan lo a 5 year old patient came to you with palpable purpura doctor pet mein dard hai doctor diarrhea ho raha hai doctor blood bhi aa raha hai doctor urine mein and this and that and you thought ha lag mere ko hsp lag raha hai hsp very mujhe lag raha hai hsp so han ji exactly the best answer the best, so very good i am happy you all are answering dekho galti chalega do mistakes no problem i am like your friend only right you are allowed to do mistakes but keep trying because trying uh, the, the mistakes are a proof that you are trying so the how do you diagnose kawasaki if examiner ask you in exam what will you answer the answer is diagnosis is a clinical diagnosis it's a clinical diagnosis please write this is important it's a clinical diagnosis look at the patient and tell the diagnosis look at the patient and tell the diagnosis that's how it is it is a clinical diagnosis ye important hai can you tell me any two more conditions i'll give you a chocolate which one i have i have a cappuccino wo chote wali mere paas chalegi which chocolate do you want anyone let me check which one i have so i'll give you a okay okay i have my mother's 
Hajmola. I have a Hajmola. If anyone likes Hajmola, my mom had kept there. So, um, can you tell me any two more condition where the answer is it is a clinical diagnosis? Such a beautiful question. What do you think? Anyone? We have to link and study, right? You can't finish 100% syllabus like that only. You have to link and study. So, can you. <laughs> dairy milk. And then, dairy milk. Fridge me rakhi hui hai. Meri knees ki hai. Mere Anji, without two, uh, can anyone tell me two questions where the answer is it is a clinical diagnosis? Main nahi Who will tell the answer? Hypertension, hypertension is a clinical diagnosis. Mm, okay, what else? Good, you're trying. Anyone? Misha, Dr. Hanji, Dr. Sachin, Dr. Sachida Nand Yadav says, Sir, Namaste from Nepal. Namaste, sir. How are you, sir? Namaste. Anji, anyone? Anyone? Uh, no, dear. Duchenne muscular dystrophy also. You diagnose you, for investigation in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. You do CPKMB, no? You do CPKMB and you do this. What uh, do you Nerve conduction velocity, NCV and CPKMB. You have to do. And it's a lot of delay. Hota hai. Anyone? 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 Gunjan says, I, I have start Paul milk chocolate. It's really good. Paul milk, कौन से वाले यार मेरे को पता नहीं गुंजन Paul milk नया नया आया है क्या मुझे फोटो भेजना बाद में I will check so yes anyone RT के लिए okay the question number one how do you diagnose Kawasaki how do you diagnose Kawasaki disease कल पढ़ा है ना मैंने इधर आओ इधर आओ सारे इधर आओ सारे बच्चे इधर आइए इधर आइए फुट्टा कहाँ है मेरा ये रहा मेरा फुट्टा hmm this is my फुट्टा come come here come show your feet show your hand show your hand come come how do you diagnose Kawasaki how do you diagnose Kawasaki anyone? The answer is Kawasaki is a clinical diagnosis. Remember that with the top the mnemonic was Rima. Yes or no? R for polymorphous uh, non-vesicular rash. Uh, e for edema of the hands and feet. E for eyes. Uh, Konsa conjunctivitis? Non-purulent conjunctivitis. Right? Because measles will have a purulent conjunctivitis. And M for MC kya tha? Kind of a rash I guess. Huh, that rash. So that's what. So uh, Rima. Achha, A, A se kya tha? Wo wala. Uh, what he called uh, unilateral cervical lymphadenopathy hai na? Wo bhi tha, hai? that's what ke nahi aate galti se. yes exactly so that's what uh, m se myocarditis to nahi hai bro kuch aur tha m se saavn m se kya tha mujhe m se yaad nahi aa raha bro mujhe bata dena dekh ke ek bar so that's what kawasaki so kawasaki is a clinical 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 diagnosis okay how do you diagnose sam how do you diagnose sam anyone how do you diagnose sam uh, Savan, bata, how do you diagnose Sam? This child is a bacha hai, this child is a bacha merasmus. Hai. Kaise? Kya CBC karwaun? How do you diagnose Sam? Anyone? CBC karake hota hai? Okay, I think serum albumin. No? Serum albumin will be low. Serum albumin is low actually in uh, Quashorker. So, how do you diagnose Sam? The answer is it's a clinical diagnosis. So, three questions, one answer. How do you diagnose severe acute malnutrition? The answer is it is a clinical diagnosis. Mota bacha like Savan is Kweshorkar and thin baby like uh, Osama is nothing but Merasmus. Uh, how do you diagnose Kawasaki? Clinical picture, uh, strawberry tongue and this and that and all those things. And how do you diagnose HSP? Clinical diagnosis, pal, tetrad, no, IG deposition everywhere, pain, abdomen, bl bloody diarrhea and uh, this uh, postprandial bowel angina and arthritis and palpable purpura. Are you understanding? So Kawasaki HSP and SAM are clinical diagnosis. Three PG questions and one answer. It is a clinical diagnosis. Has everyone understood this much? Please put a like button. We can give a golden heart or a black heart or a blue heart. Samaj mein aaya itna ke nahi hai. Pehle batao aaya ke nahi hai. Toh yaa ke badeenge. Anji. Aaya samaj mein nahi aaya. Oh, bot of hai. Hmm, lag raha. Anji. Anyone? Acha kya baate ho rahi hai pe? Kirti Pathak, ye, wo, ye, wo. Achha, kya chal rahe? Why, kya hai? Ek second. Koon kya bata rahe? Hmm. Haan, yes, bro, Savan, WHO defines Sam, wait for height and this and that. But Sam, remember, it's a clinical diagnosis. I'm saying, how do you diagnose? I define is WHO. Ye exam question hai, bro. Clinical edema, NSR, ka, clinical picture. Look at the picture and tell the diagnosis. A clinical diagnosis. This shabd is very important. Hai. It's an MCQ topic. You know, because Quashor, see, Quashorker is deficiency of proteins, right? Quashorker is deficiency of the Mota Bacha is deficiency of proteins. Whereas Merasmus is deficiency of proteins plus calories. So uh, when the Quashorker is deficiency of proteins, there was a question. There will be hypoalbuminemia, of course, because hypoproteinemia or hypoalbuminemia will lead to NSR. Ka. That happens in nephrotic 
नेफ्रोटिक आल्सो हाइपो एल्बुमिनीमिया इज अ नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम का कट ऑफ है हाइपो एल्बुमिनीमिया बट सैम इट इज नॉट डायग्नोस्ड बाय बायोकेमिकल मार्कर सैम इज अ क्लिनिकल डायग्नोसिस दैट्स इट ओके हां जी समझ में आ गया हां और गुंजन सेज क्लास इज स्टिल व्हेन फाइव मोर मिनट एंड दिस क्लास इज ओवर गुंजन 5 दिस मिनट और क्लास है बिकॉज़ 9:35 आई हैव टू गो फॉर डिनर ठीक है एग्जैक्टली डन फिनिश एग्जैक्टली exactly. चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं परफेक्ट सो एग्जैक्टली नाउ डू यू सी थ्रोमोसाइटोसिस और डू यू सी थ्रोमोसाइटोपीनिया वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन हेयर एनी वन डू यू सी थ्रोमोसाइट बिकॉज आई जी डेपोजिशन राइट सो वट इज द इन्फ्लामेटरी मार्कर हैपनिंग हेयर एनी वन वट इज द इन्फ्लामेटरी मार्कर और वट डू यू सी बेसिकली सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एनी वन एक्जैक्टली द आंसर इज थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस ठीक है थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस दैट यू शुड नो ठीक है थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस यू शुड नो एंड विच इज द अदर कंडीशन यू विल सी थ्रोमोसाइटोसिस कोई और कंडीशन मिलता है थ्रोमोसाइटोसिस दिस वन तो द आंसर इज कावासाकी कल ही पढ़ा हमने सो लिंक एंड स्टडी डियर लिंक एंड स्टडी आई एम टेलिंग यू इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू फॉर एवर एक क्वेश्चन आंसर पकड़ लो सोचो कि और कहां कहां पढ़ा था ये बस चार पांच कर लो खत्म हो जाएगा सो कावासाकी आल्सो द इन द कावासाकी द इन्फ्लामेटरी मार्कर द इन्फ्लामेटरी मार्कर इज नथिंग बट थ्रोम्बोपॉइटिन थ्रोम्बोपॉइटिन द इन्फ्लामेटरी मार्कर ऑफ कावासाकी इज थ्रोम्बोपॉइटिन दैट्स व्हाई यू विल सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस इन कावासाकी एंड सेम एचएसपी आल्सो यू विल सी कावासाकी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस ये क्वेश्चन है यू डोंट सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया यू विल सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस ठीक है That's it and uh, same why will you see अब सोचने वाली बात है will you see occult blood in stool definitely sir because uh, IgA deposition is there in my kidney and stool uh, everywhere so I will see hematuria microscopic macroscopic so occult blood also I can see and my albumin also will be very low and biopsy will show which deposition IgG deposition or IgA deposition the answer is IgA deposition 25 बार हमने कर लिया IgA deposition IgA deposition that you should know okay that's what and again a very beautiful uh, quote feelings are just visitors feelings are just visitors let them come and go don't get stuck in life don't get stuck you know kehte hai na badalte hue waqt ko apnao badalte hue waqt ko apnao feelings are just visitors let them come and go so if you are feeling negative don't get stuck ki mera to ho hi nahi sakta oh my god i don't think so i can do it feelings are just visitors let them come and go being negative or being sad is not life it is just a small phase of life it all depends on you you make this phase very big or you make this phase very small it all depends on your mental status and it all depends how you analyze life so analyze in a beautiful way and badi kehte bhai baat kaun si baat maine yaad layi thi badi baat ko chhota karo choti baat ko cotton ki ruhi ki tarah banao aur phook maar ke uda do badi baat ko chhota karo choti baat ko cotton ki ruhi ki tarah banao aur phook maar ke uda do theek hai zyada khush rahoge how do you treat how do you treat uh, hsp anyone so i got this tetrad palpebral purpura bloody diarrhea this that you are a buddha you are sitting inside the topic and you can see everywhere all the problems bloody diarrhea pain abdomen iga oh my god so much so much palpebral purpura how do you treat what is the treatment of choice anyone 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 yes exactly the answer is first of all uh, mild and sup supportive treatment you get a fever give antipyretic get a pain and get analgesic but prednisolone yes steroids are like a end treatment for anything steroids is important what is the dose the 1 mg per kg per day 1 mg per kg per day for 1 to 2 weeks it will reduce the abdominal pain and joint pain like any kind of pain steroids are anti inflammatory and anti pain so arthritis arthralgia this that everything will go with steroids i'll give you a chocolate if anyone can tell me uh, where else will you give prednisolone like in the renal system in the renal the hint is renal system renal system may do we have any name of the disease where prednisolone is the drug of cho choice anyone anyone Yes, the answer is nephrotic syndrome. Have you heard of nephrotic syndrome? नाम सुन गलती से आपने nephrotic syndrome का नाम सुना है Yes, that is right, right. Read there. Nice name. That's it, nephrotic syndrome. And how is the prognosis? If I am suffering from Kawasaki, like okay, I can't suffer because I am not a child. By inside, by heart, I am a big child. So, what is the prognosis? Is the patient has good prognosis? or the patient have bad prognosis please use your brains and tell me give the answer to ye kya hoga galat ho gaya sahi hoga sahi hoga to fayda ho jayega anyone what do you think it's a good prognosis or a bad prognosis anyone any any it's a good it's a very good prognosis yes the prognosis is self resolving theek ho jayega apne aap not self resolving but you will give steroids and supportive treatment and this and that it will resolve it will resolve nicely so no problem okay it's a good prognosis i'll give you again 
वेरी बैड हैबिट ऑफ माइंड अगेन कै टेल मी वन मोर कंडीशन वेयर द प्रोग्नोस इज वेरी वेरी गुड एनी वन कोई भी बता दो कोई भी कोई भी एच एस पी है सर आप कावासा की बोल देते हो अच्छा एच एस पी सॉरी सॉरी ब्रो आई थिंक वो बोलते 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 ना वो हो जाता है करके ठीक है सॉरी या सो एच एस पी एच एस पी एस एस ठीक है सो विच वन हैज अ गुड प्रोग्नोसिस नेफ्रोटिक यू से ओके ओके सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन वॉज जुविनाइल मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी जुविनाइल मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी जुविनाइल मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी पेशेंट ऑल्सो यूजली हैव अ वेरी गुड प्रोग्नोसिस कैन एनी वन टेल मी जुविनाइल मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी हाउ इज द पेशेंट विल प्रेजेंट एनी वन एनी वन एनी वन येस 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 या हृदय सो राइट हृदय इज वेरी गुड राइट सिंपल फेब्राइल सिजर ऑल्सो हैज अ वेरी गुड प्रोग्नोसिस वेरी गुड ब्रो आई एम सो प्राउड ऑफ यू हृदय सो सिंपल फेब्राइल सिजर ऑल्सो एंड हृदय मैं कहीं गलती करूँ तो बता देना यार वो ना क्योंकि क्या होता है ना हम एक इतना ज़्यादा टॉपिक में खोए होते हैं कि वो आंखिक मतलब मैं सोच कुछ और रहा होता हूँ कि आगे ये बताने वाला हूँ जबान चल रही होती है सो इट्स अ मल्टी टास्किंग थिंग हैपनिंग ओके आई एम लुकिंग एट द मोबाइल आई एम थिंकिंग व्हाट नेक्स्ट आई एम सपोज टू फिनिश बट आई एम स्पीकिंग आल्सो सो वो थोड़ा गलती हो जाता है सो डोंट माइंड अबाउट इट ठीक है सो जुबिनल मायोक्लोनिक एपिलेप्सी ऑल्सो विल हैव अ गुड प्रोग्नोसिस द पेशेंट विल हैव ट्विचिंग ऑफ फिंगर्स एंड फॉलोइंग ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स Twitching, twitching. It's an exam question. If anyone revising, re, anyone doing revision of NEET PG exam, you must have covered this question. Juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Juvenile means बच्चों में. Juvenile myoclonic epilepsy patient will have twitching of fingers. Twitching. उंगलियों में twitching होगी. And dropping of objects. Twitching of fingers and dropping of objects. And what's the drug of choice? Sodium valproate. The drug of choice is sodium valproate. Sodium valproate is a drug of choice, and uh, yeah, that's what. And simple febrile seizure also also has a good prognosis. True. So that's why it has a good prognosis. Self limiting course. ठीक हो जाएगा. महीने में तीन. Doctor, कब तक इसका ये rashes बहुत अजीब लग रहे हैं. Doctor, I'm really worried. Don't worry, sir. महीने में ठीक हो जाएगा. कोई घबराने वाली बात नहीं है. ठीक है. Next one. And how many percent will have reoccurrences? Again, that's a good question. That's a very good question. And doctor, doctor Savan, doctor Savan, uh, thank you. you diagnose very nicely sir hsp sir very thank you sir sir will my child will have another uh, recurrence episode sir or it is just like it is like mums ke ek bar ho gaya to dobara nahi hoga ya aisa kuch so what do you think like is like chicken pox ki tarah hai ke mata ek bar aa gayi to nahi honi chahiye matlab addition aisa kuch hai kya anyone exactly osama ne kitna acha bola twitching of fingers uh, osama is saying that twitching of fingers twitching of fingers do you see twitching of fingers in red syndrome so yes bro twitching of fingers nahi bolenge bro usko usko bolte hain hand ringing movement h a n d hand ringing very good osama is now thinking like me only like uh, thik ye aur kahan ho sakta hai acha ye wahan ho ke ya ho sakta hai so hand ringing usko bolte hand ringing like apraxia ya yeah, dyspraxia kind of a thing like uh, like ek jagah matlab i can't hold a pen also it will fall off okay hand ringing hand ringing movements will be in ret syndrome r e d t t ret yes or no ret kis mein common hota hai ret is common in males ret is common in females anyone yes very good red is common in females what is the gene mutation what is the gene mutation in red syndrome naam agar baat aa hi gayi hai to puri ki puri baat ki jaye han ji dr hriday trivedi red syndrome mein kaun sa gene mutation hota hai which is the gene mutation do we see in red syndrome anyone anyone exactly hriday is right mujhe laga tha hriday answer karega mecp2 mecp2 gene mutation in red syndrome it's common in a girl a girl with acquired microcephaly sir kahan likhu isne important line ko uh, acquired microcephaly red syndrome mein acquired a child who was perfectly fine born very beautiful no problem but by one year of life he got microcephaly and he he got what do you call this go regression of milestones regression doctor ek saal tak chal rahi thi bachcha matlab doctor one year he was perfect six months to one year perfectly fine the baby was i don't know what happened suddenly he got regression of milestones head size became small micro micro what's the definition of microcephaly what's the definition of uh, i think saavan can tell us haan ji pancake aagi udti 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 pancake aagi hai uh, what do you called uh, what's the uh, kya bolte hain usko definition of microcephaly the definition of microcephaly is head circumference less than minus 3 standard deviation and macro is more than two standard deviation that's it so that's what so twitching of fingers and dropping of objects you will see in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy hand wringing movements in a female with acquired microcephaly and regression of milestones and mecp2 gene mutation you will see in red syndrome 
That's good. And the uh, the prognosis of HSP is good enough. Uh, sir, कब तक दवाई चलेगी? Roughly आपका मतलब two to four weeks will give the दवाई and then baby will be fine. Sir, दु, sir दोबारा होगा कि नहीं होगा? Yes. Doctor Savan, Doctor Savan, my baby got HSP. Sir, you only diagnosed very good, doctor. Sir, sir दोबारा होगा क्या? How many percent, sir? होगा तो कितना? Hundred percent chance, sir. Anyone, sir? Anyone, doctor Sama? डॉक्टर प्रिया हृदय ताशु निशी सावन कीर्ति पैनकेक वट यू थिंक कितने परसेंट चांस है कितने प्रतिशत भारतीय सोचते हैं ये कि ये दोबारा हो सकता है एनीवन सर कितने हो सकता है सर क्या दोबारा आई डोंट नो सर विल इट हैपन और नॉट हैपन द आंसर इज देर आर 15 टू 60 परसेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू बुक देर आर फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटी परसेंट चांसेज ऑफ रियक्रेंस अच्छा हृदय से मैनी मैनी रियक्रेंस ये मैनी मैनी क्या होता है मैनी मैनी रियक्रेंस बट गुड यू आर ट्राइंग सो दैट्स बट सो सर देर आर फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटी परसेंट आई I agree. It's a very wide range, but that's how the book says. 15 to 60 percent chances are there it can have recurrence. But sir, 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 CKD can happen. No, 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 no. CKD or chronic renal failure or star mark PG question. How many percent of Bharatiyas are there? Only one to two percent patients will have chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is not that common. That you should know. Okay. That's it. So it's a very beautiful picture. That this is the real patient, real patient, real patient of HSP. Very beautiful picture, palpable. This one per pure. A little up, up, up. They are not very small. Okay, okay. It's just over. Two minutes. Just two minutes. So uh, palpable per pure. Ye, can we appreciate this? Yes or no? If uh, they are petty, they would be very tiny microvascular hemorrhages. Okay. This is palpable per pure. Next. That so final the topic is over. Let's do the MCQs. So the final tetrad of HSP everyone knows now: palpable per pure, arthritis, abdominal pain, and hematuria. This is the tetrad of uh, HSP. Very beautifully, we have covered the topic. And uh, yeah, so what do you think the best answer for this question? That's how we started with this question in today's class, and we are ending with this question: Need PG January 2019. A six-year-old child. abdominal pain red elevated skin rashes mainly involving the lower limbs this one this one what do you think the answer is hinong shonlin purpura next question acha pehli maine answer dikha diya funny all are seen in hsp except all are seen in hsp 2016 it this question came 2017 it question came do you see abdominal pain in hsp han ji sir वेरी ट्रू डू यू सी आर्थरेलजिया और आर्थराइटिस इन एच एस पी हाँ जी सर वेरी ट्रू डू यू सी माइक्रोस्कोपिक माइक्रोस्कोपिक हीमेचूरिया और काइंड ऑफ अ नेफ्रोटिक पिक्चर नेफ्राइटिक पिक्चर और काइंड ऑफ अ ग्लोमेरो नेफ्राइटिस हाँ जी सर यू कैन सी बट डू यू सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया नो सर यू सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस यू विल सी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस नेक्स्ट एच एस पी अगेन सेम क्वेश्चन एच एस पी इज करेक्टराइज बाय ऑल एक्सेप्ट What is not seen in HSP? Do you see palpable purpura? Yes, sir. Do you see glomerulonephritis? Yes, sir. Do you see hematochezia, <coughs> bloody diarrhea? So yes, I told you right. Bloody diarrhea could be a symptom. Renal ka sab aayega. Microscopic, macroscopic, occult blood in stool, bloody diarrhea, this and that. You will see. Do you see thrombocytopenia? No, sir. Thrombocytosis is seen. Next question. Now this was the AIMS 2015 question. Now you will tell me this one. I will not tell. Uh, Pancake, can you tell me frequency of renal involvement? See, that's how we are doing the MCQs also. I have this very habit that after every theory topic, we must do the MCQs and finish the whole topic. So frequency of renal involvement in HSP. How much is the frequency of renal involvement? The answer is 10 to 50 percent. And very beautifully, we have covered 10 to 50 percent here. 1 to 5 percent will be chronic kidney disease. Renal involvement will be 50 percent, right? Chronic renal failure or chronic kidney disease. दो प्रतिशत होता है यस और नो समझ में आ रहा है दैट्स एग्जैक्टली सो दैट्स व्हाट नेक्स्ट अबाउट एच एस पी ऑल आर ट्रू एक्सेप्ट व्हाट इज नॉट ट्रू नाउ अबाउट एच एस पी डू यू सी हिमेट यूरिया यस सर डू यू सी पेल्पेबल पर प्यूरा यस सर कैन यू सी इंटर सब्शन नाउ दिस एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट इन योर नोट Yes, you may see, you can see abdominal pain. This, that, so interception also can happen. But do you see thrombocytopenia? No, sir. Th inflammatory marker is thrombopoietin, and I will see uh, thrombocytosis, not thrombocytopenia. Next, what is true about HSP? Now this is a good last question. It's a two thousand nineteen question. जब तुम पैदा भी नहीं हुए थे, अंजी. 
मल्टीपल ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द क्लास इज ओवर हाँ जी जल्दी बताओ वट जल्दी बताओ हाँ इंटेस इज ऑप्शन वेरी गुड पैनकेक इज राइट पेन एफ डॉबन पेलवेबल पर प्यूरा एंड क्या था हाँ एंड रेड करंट जेलिस्ट हूँ यही था ना इंटरसेप्शन का पेन एफ नहीं नहीं पेन एफ डॉमन पेलपेबल मास है ना पेन एफ डॉमन पेलपेबल मास एंड रेड करंट जेलिस्ट हूँ इज द ट्रायड ऑफ इंटरसेप्शन यू सी क्लॉस साइन और क्वाइल्ड स्प्रिंग साइन दैट्स वट यू सी हाँ जी या पैनकेक वट यू थिंक वट इज ट्रू अबाउट एच एस पी डू यू सी पेलपेबल पर प्यूरा येस डू यू सी थ्रोमोसाइटोपीनिया नॉट एट ऑल डू यू सी थ्रोमोसाइटोसिस येस Kidneys are commonly affected. Fifty percent cases. I am very sure it is affected. So you can say that yes, it is affected. Do you see C anka positive? The answer is no. I'll give you a chocolate if you can tell me where you see anka and panka positive. C anka positive. Can you see in one condition where you see uh, uh, what you call C anka positive? Any one condition where you see C anka positive? So C anka positive is seen in many conditions like Wagner's granulomatosis. In Wagner's granulomatosis, which is a small vessel vasculitis, you will see C anka positive. Okay? Anti-nuclear cytoplasmic antibodies, right? So anti-nuclear cytoplasmic antibodies and C anka. That's it. IgA is character. Uh, what is it? Uh, ha. Huh. HSP is characterized by deposition of immunoglobulin around the vessels, which deposition everyone knows it is iga iga deposition and i'll give you a toffee if anyone can tell me last question kahin aur bhi hai something is rich in iga who will tell me that something is rich in iga pancake savan priya la ganja something is rich in iga anyone 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 a very good question we have done this multiple times kaun koi bata do galti se number aa jayenge isi bahane something is that something is rich in iga something something anyone anyone एनीवन कुछ है जो आई में रिच है इस टॉपिक के अलावा भी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक समथिंग इज रिच मच वेरी गुड यस मम्मा का फूड है वो मम्मा का फूड नहीं मम्मा का मिल्क है दूध होगा फूड लिख दिया इसने हाँ जी कोलोस्ट्रम वेरी गुड कोलोस्ट्रम इज रिच इन आई जी ए वेरी गुड दैट फिनिश द टॉपिक एंड ऑल्सो दैट फिनिश द टॉपिक एंड वन मोर थिंग ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट टू दिस वन ऑल्सो That finishes this topic and also I had to show you one more thing also today यू हम आज शाम को हमने क्या पढ़ा सैम पढ़ा था ना ओके वन सेकेंड इन द पी वी डी एस डॉक्यूमेंट्स आई नीड टू हैव शो यू दिस वन सैम का टेस्ट कहाँ है वन सेकेंड इन शो सैम आज सैम का टेस्ट था ना ब्रो वन सेकेंड आई वॉन्ट शो यू समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो सैम थ्री सैम थ्री वन सेकेंड दैट्स वट वन सेकेंड या ऑलमोस्ट आई हैव वी हैव टोल्ड अबाउट दिस ना वी हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द स्पेशल क्लास इज एन एवरीथिंग आज की क्लास में एक और भी मैंने शाम को सैम का टेस्ट लिया था और एक और चीज़ ली थी लेट मी जस्ट हैव ग्लिम्स आई वॉन्ट सी वेदर समथिंग आई हैव मिस्ड ऑन नॉट या आई थिंक वी हैव कवर्ड एवरी थिंग सो दैट्स इट दैट फिनिश द होल टॉपिक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन एंड दैट्स वट बिफोर लिविंग वी हैव दिस वेरी ब्यूटिफुल लाइन विच से द वर्ल्ड इज फिल्ड विद नाइस पीपल द वर्ल्ड इज फिल्ड विद नाइस पीपल इफ यू कांट फाइंड वन be one the world is filled with nice people if you can't find if you can't find then be one that's it thank you so much everyone for this participation tomorrow we have a class yes tomorrow kahan gaya tomorrow we have a class kahan ha at 5:15 pm at 5:15 pm i'll take a test i'll take a test on sam part 2 sam part 2 see very good malnutrition part 2 i'll be taking a test tomorrow and uh, that's when and also same 8:30 pm we'll have a class i will let you know the topic i mean socha nahi abhi so sam part 2 for sure tomorrow we have two classes on the un academy app we have a test on the sam today 30 questions we have covered tomorrow we will finish 70 questions also and finish it off kyunki us wo important hai and uh, tomorrow evening 8:30 pm youtube class thank you everyone thank you so much uh, have a wonderful evening ahead and bye bye take care it's already late